and people with sniper rifles trying to hunt. Monkeys. And what do you think we are, Destiny? Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. It's go by Drew Van. <laughs> Get a thumbnail, yeah. Alright, so we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, this is the third video me and Destiny have, sat, have shot sitting down here with the same fit, so I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to um, hear nothing. Yeah. If you see with the same do right, the same take top, the same, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing. I'm not dirty. I'm just shooting videos. But y'all see the time. You know what the heck we finna do, man? We finna be reacting to some some crazy creatures that we have just now discovered. You know the world is really big, right? Dusty, did you know the world is really big? Mm -hmm. There's mad stuff we haven't seen. You know, we we only explored what five percent of the ocean or something like that. Yeah, ten percent. Whatever the heck they be saying, they be lying. We ain't explored none of it. I, honestly, I don't believe nothing nobody say no more. Me either. But um, anyways, it's just so much of the world we have not seen. I feel like it's a bunch of creatures we haven't seen. And I personally like watching these animal videos and y'all be liking when I, well, the, the videos always do pretty good when I react to the to the animal videos, like the animal hybrids I did. That was pretty cool when it was like mixing different animals. You seen that video? No, yeah. you didn't because you don't watch my videos. But um, we just finna react to this one real quick. If y'all have anything else you want me to react to, hit me over there on Instagram, at Juver. Underscore and before we get into the video, Destiny, please tell them. Drop yourself a Jurat, man. Jurat.com, buy two, get the thermal free, or bundle up and sell yourself $50, man. There's something else you gotta tell them. It's kind of like they can save money. Make sure uh -huh. you save 20% on your next purchase Yeah. with the promo code uh -huh. update. U P D A T E. Yes. Use promo code UPDATE to save yourself 20% because we updated the website, got new pictures, everything. It's looking super sexy, super fire. Destiny has chips, well, technically. And it's called UPDATE because both... UPDATE your life. Got you right. You're welcome. Yeah, what she said, but we both got chips today, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. What you mean? Uh-uh. It's mine. Ours. Mine. But let's do a hot wire into this, man. Hey guys, it's Chris. What's up, Chris? From the purple frog to the first carnivore found in America in over 35 years. Here are 10... What the... What is that? I look like a glizzy gobbler. What? <laughs> what? Don't not, do not look like a glizzy gobbler. Tell me... Okay, some weird dude on Omegle. Tell me he's not gonna try and stick his... <laughs> in there. You know what I'm saying? Tell me he wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? No problem. He would. Oh, I muted it by... It's gonna hurt him, though. They don't care. It hurts their dignity of going on Meagle jerking off to weird stuff. Number 10, the Lesula. The Lesula is a brand new species of primate that was discovered by a team of conservation biologists while they were exploring the Lomami Forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo in 2007. The biologists were shocked when they discovered an unusual monkey tethered to a post in the remote jungle town of Opala. They had never seen this monkey before, and it was referred to as Lesla by the locals. Like it was apparently monkey. being kept as a- How do they be like, knowing the difference between all these monkeys and stuff? They all look the same to me. That's crazy! Well, that one He looked look high. No, he looked high. That boy looked high. The orange, I mean the yellow. I don't know They look orange or yellow. I don't know that. This is, this gotta be two different ones. Pet by the school director's daughter, who had found the young female monkey after hunters tried to kill its mother. She had adopted the monkey and just kept it around town, tied to a post. It wasn't a very great life, but it was better than the alternative. The biologist continued to explore the area and found another captured male and female, then witnessed their first one in the wild on the shores of the Lomami River. But it would be only five years later when genetic tests finally confirmed the Lesula as a new species. Unfortunately, the population of the primate is already in steep decline. They aren't found anywhere else in the world and occupy a geographic range of only around 6,000 square miles. These primates are hunted by the locals we need to and go are there. just about the- What? Whole bunch of palm trees. Huh? Whole bunch of palm trees. Yeah, people with sniper rifles trying to hunt. Monkeys. And what do you think we are, Destiny? Monkeys. Tell us I ain't going in. Going from the world. Only a few years after being discovered by scientists. Number nine, purple frog. A new frog species found in India's western Ghats. Ain't no way I'm differentiating frog the, the frog. It's called the Bupathi purple frog, and it's incredibly you strange looking. In no. The frog has yes, deep purple are. skin and a nose like a pig. Its body is also shaped as an yeah. amorphous I would be scared if I seen that. It doesn't look anything like the typical. 
You gonna be scared if you see anything. I don't want to hear. No, this. I'm not scared of frogs. That thing is scared of all animals, everything that moves that's not a human being. That's it. <laughs> the green hopping tree frogs you and I know about. So why does this new frog look so weird? According to what scientists have managed to put together so that's far, nasty. it, it looks, looks so strange swap. because it lives underground. Instead of dwelling in the trees and bushes, the purple frog lives inside shallow burrows where it hides from predators. Even more incredible is that it lives underground for its entire life. It never even comes to the surface to eat because it spends so all its time it? gulping. That's what I'm saying. What the heck is they talking about? I think they're just saying stuff. I don't even believe this video. I don't believe this. I don't believe none. Pulling up underground ants and termites. The only reason it was even found is because of torrential rains that flooded the area and caused the frogs to appear on the surface. Scientists also learned that whenever their burrows are flooded by torrential rains, the frogs take the opportunity to mate with other frogs, who they find wandering aimlessly on the surface. If it never rained, they would probably never mate. Number 8. Vampire Alien Fish A vampire-like fish that looks a lot like an alien and dates back Bro, to prehistoric times that's a has been spotted in the rivers of the- This a fish? This a fish, Dustin? That's what they're saying. No, you just said, that's a fish. That's not a predator alien fish. That's just a fish. It ain't no, that. they said it's a fish. And I'm like, that's a fish? No, you said, that's a fish. Just, you don't even know. Be this quiet. is not even a fish. Uh-huh. How is that a fish? Ew. That's me. That is a glizzy gobbler with teeth. That's a fleshlight. That's what they call it, right? That's a glizzy chopper. That's a glizzy grinder. <laughs> A lot like an alien and dates back to prehistoric times has been spotted in the rivers of the United Kingdom for the first time in over 200 years. It's called a lamprey and it's a type of fish that can grow to be about the size of a person's forearm and instead of jaws it has a circular mouth opening filled with razor sharp teeth. It's one of the most shark. glorifying you fish in the entire Lizzie world, Gobbler. growing to a maximum of three feet in length. These beasts used to roam all throughout the waterways of the United Kingdom, but were thought to have gone extinct in the region because of pollution that came with the Industrial Revolution. For the first time since the 1800s, lampreys have been found in Yorkshire, Come making on, experts one. wonder yeah. just how exactly they've managed to make a reappearance. That's not the last one. Even though lamprey fish oh, do more. suck blood kind of like vampires, and even though they kind of look like the chest busters from the Alien movies, conservationists are hoping to innovate new techniques in which the few surviving lamprey can find their way to the ancient spawning grounds. In a few years, the UK could be crawling with these horrifying monsters. I got me thinking about this Friday, Come on, put that thing up in there. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. There's blood Number? just spraying everywhere. Wait, what? You said I got you thinking about what? <laughs> Somebody put that thing in there, blood just everywhere. How I get you thinking about that? Are you talking about gliz Glizzy Gobbler? You talking about Glizzy Blender? After you started this, though. Are you still thinking about it? I ain't thinking about that. You sus bot 3000? Dancing hey, spider. watch out! In Australia, scientists have discovered a new dancing spider. As if spiders weren't bad already, now they apparently are dancing. The arachnid has been named Nemo after the adorable clownfish from the kids' movie, and to be honest, it's kind of fitting. The spider was found near Who named Nemo? Near in the south of Australia by Cheryl Holiday, completely by up. accident. They made she was Nemo. taking photographs of blooming purple orchids when she accidentally took a picture of what would become an entirely new species of peacock spider. These spiders can be found throughout Australia and are known for their vibrant colors Look. and their bizarre mating dances. Cheryl shared the photos of the peacock spider on That's social fire. media, and they caught the attention of arachnologist Joseph Schubert. And many months down the line, the spider became a new species, first described in the journal Evolutionary Systemic. They keep saying new. It's not new. It's always been here. You just never found it. Yeah, we never. It's new there to the world. There are now 92 <laughs> species of peacock spider in Australia. As for just what kind of dancing these spiders really do, it's quite fascinating to watch. Male spiders become extremely colorful when they molt in the spring, which just so happens to be mating season. To attract a female, they hop and dance like trying to summon a rain god. Number 6. Toothless Rat On the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia, an international group of biologists discovered a toothless shrew rat. Suffice it to say, uh, this bizarre rodent shocked oh biologists who were led by Dr. Jacob Esselstein from McMaster University in Hamilton. The rodent was given a name way too long and complicated for any reasonable person to pronounce. So it's easier to just call it the toothless rat. But why on earth is there a rat with no teeth? Apparently it doesn't really need them. How does that eat? What does it eat? It looks like a bird mouse. It's like a bird clapped a mouse. 
That's disgusting, bro. It's making me cringe. I can't even look at it. It's making you cringe? Yeah. Okay, it's off. You don't gotta look anymore. Can't look at that, bro. It's not on no more. Oh, I can't look at that. <laughs> what are you doing? It look kind of fun. Oh, uh, rats freak me out. The fuzz. Ew! Get that off the screen, boy! This look creepy. This don't even look creepy. It's just the. It's the, the nice. Consists of a rat. rat. I'd rather that over a rat. Uh, molars and only a small pair of incisors, which snake. allow it to I eat the soft no worms rat. more easily. And in case you were wondering just how rare uh, a rat with no teeth is, well, this is the only species. There are 2,200 known species of rat in the world, and all of them have most of their teeth, while the majority have all of their teeth. According to Dr. Esselstein, the rat probably lost its teeth Aww. because they weren't useful That's for survival. Cute. It likely had teeth to begin with, and then the characteristic was shed through evolution. Number five, giant flying squirrel. In the Himalayas, a flying squirrel oh, has been discovered him. that is so big, it's kind of hard to believe. We've all seen sugar gliders before. The notorious flying oh, squirrels that became sugar popular glider. house pets in the 90s before they kept gliding into people's open toilets. Pet, people there was a lot of tragedy going now. on back then, but in any case... Just someone was trying to get one. A flying square? I'm not told you. Yeah, I did tell you. No, you didn't. Promise you I did. No, we were talking about the other thing. The, the, what, it's like a monkey thingy. I think it was a sugar loaf, or whatever the thing called. I don't know. I would get one of these. It, they look kind of. Never mind. I would not get one. You would one get anything. I would Case not get sugar this. gliders are small enough to no fit in the palm of your hand. They're we just little babies. Plenty. But the new flying squirrel found in the Himalayas is a giant. It's the size of a fat house cat. Amazingly, two new squirrel species were found, not just one. We have the Yunnan woolly flying squirrel and the Tibetan woolly flying squirrel. The first lives in the mountains and gorges of China's Yunnan Wait. province, while the other lives. A squirrel? Hold on, why am I yawning? Because I'm not tired. A squirrel the size of a house cat? The size, imagine you see a squirrel. A fat house cat, he said. Don't say Leo. Leo lost weight. Yeah, he's slim now. That boy, Aki, he's slim and muscular. But imagine... No, I wouldn't say all that. Imagine Garfield. Y'all know the cat Garfield? You know the cat Garfield? Yeah. Imagine a squirrel the size of that. Jumping mm -hmm. off a tree, bro. Imagine that chasing you. What you gonna do? Anything chasing me, you already know. It's over with. Desi turned to Usain mother freaking bolts. If anything chases her. <sighs> at altitudes of over 16,000 feet in the Himalayas, where India, Tibet, and Bhutan meet. These gliding mammals each weigh about 5.4 pounds and grow three feet Look. from nose to tail. That's roughly the size of a cat. A cat that can literally glide through the mountains. Number four, worm Man, what's with a hundred butts. Researchers have discovered. Hey yo, what? what is that? Hey yo, they said a worm with a hundred butts. What in the sus bot going on here, Mr. Boy? Way hey, too many butts. But how many butts is too many? How about one hundred butts? This bizarre marine worm was discovered to have a single body, one head, and a hundred butts. This is possible because the worm's body divides into about a hundred branches, and each what? branch ends in, you guessed it, a, a butt. butt. But this strangeness doesn't end with butts. This worm can actually reproduce using its butts. When it's time to make new worms, the butt will grow eyes and a brain and become a single worm. It's the oddest and most ridiculous tiny- Wait, 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 wait. So each butt falls off and becomes another butt person? A new wor worm. So a butt falls off and then- Becomes a worm. Becomes a worm with a hundred other butts that can yeah. fall off and- <laughs> Yeah, this is real sus. I don't know what's going on here. Feature known to science. But what is it really? It's called R. multicaudata. That's what it looks like? And it's a segmented know. worm. There are thousands of these kinds of worms. However, not too many of them can reproduce using branching bodies just like fungi. Unfortunately, the inner workings of all those butts and brains, well, it's still kind of a mystery. Scientists can't even really figure out how they feed themselves, but we do know they exist, and that's a pretty good start. Number three, mystery sea creature. Oh, yeah. A carcass of a mysterious animal was washed up in the shore on the far east of Russia. It was found on Sakhalin Island, and nobody has been able to identify Bruh, it. Bro, I'm telling y'all, it's some weird creatures in the in the ocean. That's why I don't really rock with the ocean like that, because, like, you don't know what the heck is below you. You could be... You it could, isn't... Bruh. No, but I'm saying, imagine you in a boat, right? You don't know what the heck... The ground could be a big old animal. You don't even know. Like, you think it's sand under? It could be a whole big old animal. You know how worms? Why are you saying no, like but you, you know how worms live under like, live under um dirt, right? 
You wouldn't know you could be walking around, you could be walking on top of a worm because it's under, deep under the thing. It could be whole big horse-sized fish under the sand. I'm saying though, for real, you know what I'm saying? Like that's really the thing that could be happening. Nobody knows. Cause nobody can go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Why they can't? Cause the pressure is too hard. Too, no, you too can hard. take a submarine. It's, you still can't go down all the way. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, I'm telling y'all, it's something, it's something, it's something, it's something. I ain't gonna figure it out. Somebody go figure it out. When they figure it out, I'm, it's gonna be something. I'm telling y'all right now. It's gonna be dead by the time they figure it out. I, 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 they finna do it quick, cause somebody it's finna, yeah, it's something. It's something down there. The dead animal. What is this? It had what looked to be a bee. Part of its body was covered in fur, and what may have been paws or actual feet. According to the Siberian Times, the mystery was actually never solved because after the pictures were taken, a swim came in dolphin. and sucked the body back out into the ocean. But here's yeah, the it's something out there. It's something. It's something. And then the hurricane came and repossessed it back into it. I'm telling you, bro. I'm Manifest is real. That's bro. Y'all know the show Manifest. <laughs> Dusty been saying I'm everything is related bro, to Manifest. Dusty so been using every scenario in real life time. Talk about this is manifest. Manifest call this is just like manifest. Nessie was be sitting in her chair and be swearing she getting a call in, bro. Why are you lying? Okay, now she you be lying. like, wait, I just got a call in. We gotta get ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't slept, Destiny. What do we know about it so far? The creature's body was roughly six feet long. Uh, its tail sweet, was bro. another it's almost real. fifteen feet. <laughs> The creature had fuzzy hair, it didn't I have any fins, and it had two loud. appendages. They can hear us. Though nobody could agree on if they ended in paws or feet or if it had claws. Some say the beast may have been a dolphin in the middle of decomposing, which is why it looked so weird. It's just so strange. And since the animal's gone now, we'll probably never figure out what this mysterious sea creature actually was. Number two, hammer-headed bat. Believe it or not, the hammer-headed bat... The Man, what Have the? you ever seen a bat in person? Yeah, bats used to be in my house. In your house? I told you the story. How no, when I left? Yeah, when I was at your house with your mom, and I said me and my brothers were there, right? Oh, your and mom left... picked it up and put it outside, grabbed yeah. it, and put, caught it, and put it. But it left. We left uh, Safina up there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. your mom. Yeah. Anyway, like that though, that's a big old. That look like a, a. How big is a bat? It'd be like this big, bro. It's oh, small. oh. Yeah. But this is, I mean, when I say this big, I mean like, they probably like, like this big. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that big. Big. It's not that big. That is a motherfucking pig bat. That's a pig mixed with a, a bat came and clapped the pig and the pig got pregnant and, and shot that up. I'm That's scared of all this. Real living animal. But no, it's not related to the hammerhead shark. It's also not a demon or the Jersey. It's a demon. Yeah, it it's not a demon. Yes, it's ordinary is. bat discovered in equatorial Africa That's a demon. that loves eating fruit and doesn't even try to eat people. Cat. It's the appearance it's a lot of, of bats the bat that makes it so strange. It has huge lips and a large head that almost makes it look like a fox with wings. Males have enlarged lips that let them make a crazy honking sound like That's a not a cartoon. This is, I'm t they said it makes a honking sound like a pig. That's a motherfucking bat pig. A bat flew into That's where all this stuff be coming from though. It be like animals just mating with other animals. That they, a, a, you bat, they a, bat flew into, a bat flew into a pig's coochie, bro, and it got pregnant, and the, the, the pig shot out the baby, and the baby looked like that. Like, the bat coochie dived. He literally dived into the coochie, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that man, that, that bat was a coochie diver. <laughs> I'm horned. The sound is used by males, <laughs> and they gather together in the hundreds to attract females. They literally fly See, around stalking like and stalking in hopes No, that's a regular bat. What's true? That looks big. No, that's, a, that's a vampire bat. Those ones that like bite people. Okay, but so what be, was at your house? Fruit, it'd be fruit, um, fruit bats. That's like fly bats. Yeah, it's like fruit bats or fly bats. I forget what it's called. But they eat like bugs. Um, but it'd be small. They don't be this is like what that. I thought when you said in your house, this is the... No, this is vampire bats. These actually bite people. The other ones don't bite people. They just go for insects. Around squawking and squawking in hopes of finding a date. No, that's how Ebola started. What's remarkable about the hammer-headed bat I is that Ebola it's the biggest with mega bat anywhere in No. Ebola started when, um, you know, in Africa there was, uh, they had a food shortage. Yeah. In some country in Africa. They had a food shortage and they started eating bats. That's, and the that's Ebola how they said started COVID. spreading and spreading. That's how they said COVID. Yeah, they lying about COVID. COVID started right here in the U.S. Just like manifest? Yeah. 
Gotcha. It's absolutely huge with a wingspan of over three feet. Yeah. All right. It's also one of three African fruit bats uh, known to carry the Ebola virus. But even though they're known to host the virus, saying. they do not show symptoms. Maybe that is an ugly mother sucker. That mother sucker is ugly. That, that mug is butt ugly, bruh. That is disgusting looking. Very mysterious case. Nobody really knows where Ebola came from or how it causes outbreaks, but it is a quite horrific way to die. Outbreaks in the 70s and in the 2000s have caused a major panic. In the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1976, yeah, Republic of Congo. the virus seemed to come out of nowhere, appearing in a small hospital and spreading, killing 90% of its victims before it disappeared. Victims suffered from sore throat, fever, headache, and abdominal pain. Then they began bleeding from the eyes, nose, and other orifices, and they die within days. Yeah. Is it from eating bats? Maybe just bats that have active symptoms? Scientists are still looking for a pattern. But in any case, even though this bat is awesome, it's not the best. Let me ask y'all something. Ebola outbreak. We still don't have a vaccine. They still ain't figure out what happened. Yeah, that's it. This video oh, is this video is not. <laughs> we're not doing. <laughs> A whole health debate thing right now. You know what I'm saying? You gonna stop? Yeah, my about major is public health. I want to be epidemiologist. So this is all just so curious to me. No, oh, I'm just so curious. So yeah, you don't even know what you're saying. Just go to sleep. Interesting, mind-boggling. The Olinguito. For the first time anywhere in the Americas in 35 years, a team of scientists from the Smithsonian have discovered a new carnivore species. This was one of the biggest animal discoveries of the last decade. While it's fairly common to find new amphibians, birds, and insects, discovering a new kind of carnivore in the 21st century is kind of unheard of. The animal is called the Olinguito, and it looks like a mix Who named of a it that? and a cat. Who named it that? Me. Yeah, I looked at this it. This don't like, just be. Who I, I looked at it. I, I was like, no. If you really look at it, it's like, yeah, that's an all in green. That's an all in green. <laughs> don't even know how to say that's the name. That's an all in green girl. <laughs> that's an all in green girl. But it looked like an all in green girl. Yeah, it's actually from the same family as raccoons and kinkajous, though it's the least documented and most unknown of any member. It only weighs about two pounds. It lives primarily in the cloud forests of Colombia and Ecuador. And it's only been properly observed by scientists once. The one and only observation of the Olinguito in the wild revealed it's a creature active in the night. Even though it's a carnivore, it still has a diet primarily of fruit, and it births a single baby at a time. It also never comes out of the trees, which is probably why it's so hard to find in places like the Colombian cloud forest where you can barely see the trees or what's going on in them. We don't know how many of these creatures are left, but scientists hope to do more studies out in the jungle. So, which of these strange animals is your Man. favorite? Man, which one was the this? Is one? weird. The craziest one was the. I don't like that fish, the glizzy gobbler. I don't like that thing. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah. glizzy shredder. Yeah. The glizzy grinder. Yeah, grinder. The glizzy. Subs. I'm thinking what else? Glizzy puncturer. No, no, which one good. was the weirdest? That bat was so ugly, bro. <laughs> that bat was so freaking ugly. I am not for the whole job. What was yours? Your weirdest one? Probably, don't even remember them, honestly. Probably the bat. The bat? Because you don't remember none of them else? Yeah. No, I remember the spider, the rat. The frog. The oh, frog. The, the rat was cool, though. The frog, it looked like it. You don't like it? It's only a little chill. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. The frog, the... Spider. Anyways, y'all, Destiny, Destiny, you still thinking? We just said, you just literally said the same things you just said like two seconds ago. <laughs> that's but, that video. That's if all for this video. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure you like right now, man. Let me know in the comments down below which one y'all think was the craziest one. Let me know if y'all, let me know y'all theory. With the water, I'm telling y'all, it's some crazy things in the water. It's something. Let me this. know y'all theory with Ebola. Ebola and COVID, the comparison. Let me know y'all credit card number by going to jewelry.com and buy two. But when you put the credit card, $50. Oh, I thought you were saying something else. All right. That's who was trying to scam y'all. No, that's who was trying to scam y'all. I was trying to give y'all jewelry while y'all using y'all credit card. But, um, yeah, that's about it, though. If you want you guys to anything else, hit me over there on Instagram. Know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm See? See? Y'all. Ouch!
Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through 